Hey guys, today I'm going to be reacting to episode 6 of Yojo Senkai, which is also known as Saga of Tanya the Evil. Uh, the title of this week's episode, or well, technically <laughs> last week's episode, is Beginning of Madness. Um, ooh, I, I actually like that uh, title. Um, by the way, I'm sorry guys that I'm a little bit late with reacting to this. Not even a little bit, I'm a couple days um, behind. The reason being is that it's been a very hectic uh, weekend, so I'm sorry guys, I apologize that that I make you wait so long for this live reaction, but I'm here, and I'm finally doing it, so I apologize. Um, I'm gonna stop wasting your guys' time with just my pointless uh, blabbering, my apologies, and my excuses, and all that stuff, and let's just dive into with last week's uh, episode, so I'm sorry about that, guys. <clears throat> so excited to actually get into this episode. Because in the previous episode, yo, they took out a fucking whole entire country. Oh my god, that was impressive. Oh dang, that's a big ass cigar. They're trying to prevent the world war from... Oh, interesting. I like how this anime actually goes into that in detail. That's really amazing. How it talks about um, all these scenarios, like about you know getting the supplies up to the front and all that stuff. It's being it's being very tactical. I fucking dig it. I love it. I really do. What's the suggestion? Suggestion? Oh my god! I can't even talk. Your ace in the hole. The battalion. Interesting. So they're getting sent to the uh, front lines. I guess um, a very formidable foe. I guess you would say. Excuse me, guys. <laughs> I mean, they're pretty used to that now. The uh, snow and stuff. If you know what I mean. I love how they're actually becoming very friendly with each other. Oh, so that's going to be our opponents, the people that we saw them fight before in previous episodes already. So that's good to know. They're actually very strong, too. So now that I think about it, this might be like the toughest fight they might get into. I mean, there's also the West Side or the West Front, I think it is. I think they're like a tier beyond this other front. I think well, something about them, like they were stronger. And that's why they're attacking this front and trying to, you know, reduce the front so then we can prevent a world war from happening. They're called the Intra Intrate Alliance or something like that. And the, the other people are called like the Republic or something like that, I think. I don't know. I'm not good with names. You guys should know this. The Republic, yes. And then the Al Allied Kingdom.
Yo, she started to think about it. She's gonna be like, huh? Maybe it's possible that this so-called god is actually, you know, you know, working his way throughout this. Oh, this is the other side. I was confused. Who are these people? Okay, so these are the... What were they called? The Entra Empire? No, no, not the Entra Empire. Alliance, I think it was. <sighs> North region. This is the supply base. Oh dang, it's a full out fight. So these are the mages of these is our our side of the mages or the the main characters. Uh, excuse me guys, side of the mages and they're fighting an all out fight and they're starting to they're they're getting their asses handed to them. Oh, he's dead. There's no making it out of that. He was shot dead. Just let him... Well, then again, I mean, like, you need to take his body home. Is he... Is he still gonna live? Are they gonna try to take him to the medic? Yeah, that's the... Uh, I saw, like, the little cross, which means, like, a little medic thing. They all have it. Holy shit, they're fucked. We're requesting permission to withdraw. They're bombers. Holy shit, they're a fucked. They are fucked, my boy. No, no survivors. Holy shit. Oh my god. Yo, this is looking really bad for him. This is the same situation that Tanya found herself in, though. Or a similar situation, at least. Yeah, but Tanya can. What does that mean? Reinforcements. Tanya came in. She's gonna fucking rip some asses wide open, my boy. And just devour the fuck out of them. <laughs> oh my god. There they are. Yo, they're about to kick some motherfucking ass. Holy shit. So it looks like all the mages have the crosses. So it wasn't that they were like a medic unit or anything like that. So they're, I'm just I'm guessing something with the battalion or maybe like this their emblem. Leave no survivors. Dang. Yo, I love this fucking anime. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I was, like, a couple days behind with this anime. It's just, it was a really bad weekend. I was... Somehow, I actually got Dragon Ball Super in. I don't know how.
They said they don't need help. He hasn't said the attitude. He's like, oh, holy shit. You see his fucking eyes and still increasing? He's like, yo, I didn't even know that shit was fucking possible. Wow. Oh, shit. Even faster? <laughs> so people are realizing about this ace and the stories are going all around. <coughs> Excuse me guys. Sorry. Looks like they have like these horse little things. I love it. It's kind of funny. I love how they use conquering a fucking king, like country, as fucking live fire exercise. Holy shit! Ooh. Booze. That's how you motivate your men. <laughs> Don't bankrupt me. <laughs> Here's the bombers. Yo, she's enjoying it. She's like, oh yeah, I like this challenge. I'm gonna take them head on and fuck their asses, right? <laughs> you sure about that? She's taking the bombers for herself. All on. All by herself. That's fucking crazy. I mean, she could hijack a plane. Earn my Sally. Dude, she's fucking insane, and I love it. Excuse me. They're like, what the fuck? shooting at her but she's too fast yo she literally went phew phew who is this girl yo she's right on your dicks my boy she's right on your dicks my boy <laughs> and goodbye oh my no fucking- Is that a fucking grenade? Holy shit, no mercy! Call off the mission? Yo, they're- Yo, they're literally retreating. They're dropping the bombs so they can move faster. 
That's how pussy they are. Holy shit. She's not even... Yo, if she actually destroys them all, I'll be actually impressed. Holy shit, like, I knew she was OP, but I didn't think she was this OP. She's, they're, they're actually really far away. Oh, she divided the gun. Okay. Yo, what the actual fuck, my boy? Holy shit, man. Are they going to survive? Oh no, she didn't take them all out. I was actually going to be very impressed if she took them all. I'm going to recover prisoners. She's going to pick up the people that just crash landed. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> They're dead. I think there's still one... <laughs> I think there's still one guy around. Is this being X? Yo, he, he just straight up shot him. Yo, she literally gives no fucks. She just shoots him out every single time she gets a chance. She did the same thing with um with the nutcracker in the opening. Ah, uh, excuse me guys. Jesus, I don't know well then again it makes sense. I, I just ate before I started recording this. So I think I'm still digesting the food. Sorry about this guys. Like I hate it. It's so fucking unprofessional. She really is the devil. Oh. Holy shit, is she actually going for them? She's gonna kill them, isn't she? And then there's the curse. There's the curse. Nah, she doesn't give a fuck, man. There is no limit to what she can do. Oh my, and they wanted to retrieve the fucking equipment. Yeah, fuck that. Retrieve your lives. <laughs> I'm surprised they actually made it out alive, though. They got lucky. Does she no did she notice that they survived? Oh, what happened to the prisoners, though? You should take some prisoners. Because that's a real... Yo, that looked like he literally had, like, instant fucking diarrhea from his ass. That's what it looks like when, when the mud fell. I was like, yo, did my boy just shit himself? Oh, so they're going to try their best to uh, withstand these attacks. 
Interesting. So they're going full out force. So that's why he was constantly stamping. He's like, I don't fucking care what it is to stamp. I'll prove anything. We need to prevent like us being doomed the most possible, best possible way. <sighs> Just going all out. So that's what he was doing. It makes sense. I like how they did that. I love how she now's become an ace. It's you know what? In a deeper sense, here's here's something that the anime also goes in with. Like, if there is such a thing as this being X and he is God, it's almost like he's setting a path for her. And leading her down these paths. It's almost like destiny. It's like um, fighting. It's between destiny and free will. It, it goes throughout that team. like So that's really nice how the enemy actually does that. But it doesn't like tell you straight up. Like this is what it is about. So that's really cool. Is that his wife and kid? I wonder if they died, maybe. Because he, he looked kind of sad when he was looking back at the picture. Maybe maybe they died in something. I don't know. Or maybe he just was re just thinking about them and missing them or something. Oh, well. Oh, well. So, going back to the theme, I love this ending. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. It's kind of hard to talk over it because it's such a beautiful ending. Um, But going back to the whole theme, it's it literally, like, it seems like everything is in a set path for her. Like, she has no choices. And no, She can't change or anything like that. It's like being X is literally deciding what's happening. And she has no choices. So, it really goes through the theme about, you know, free will versus destiny. Is destiny really set? Can you change that destiny? Can you do something about it? Like, when there's this outer force, like the supernatural force, you know, controlling everything in your life. Is there a way to escape that? And that's what this anime goes through about. So I really do dig that too. But at the same time, it's it's a freaking um, military anime. Like it's um, forget what the actual theme, what the actual name of the theme is. Oh well, well, you guys know what I mean. It's it's like a straight up like military, like with mages and superpowers as well at the same time anime. So at the same time as it's doing that, it's like very actiony, very strategic and all that stuff. But it's also you know going through that theme about like. Uh, that philosophical theme about, you know, destiny and free will. So I like that. <laughs> you don't smoke, right? Do they not know about secondhand smoking at that time? Oh shit! Yo, they all are fucking smoke house. <laughs> oh my god. And she's a little fucking um. How old was she? Was she twelve or ten? I forget. I forget how old she is. And she's like um a little kid. And so her lungs can't take all that smoke. So that's kind of funny how there's there's these old grown men literally in a room just smoking. And then there's smoke all over this. And then she's a little child and she's like, oh my god, I have to withstand all this. <laughs> so, oh, that was actually really funny. I like that. I really did. Um, I like how the endings have like these little funny scenes every single time. It's somewhat important too at the same time. So, I mean, it's never brought up. I mean, I guess it might be brought up, like, briefly what happens after the, uh, ending. 
credits, I guess you could say ending credits. I I, I would just say ending because it is the ending song or ending theme, ending credits. Anyways, after the ending credits, instead of showing a preview, it shows like this little scene in like it's never t really roughly touch to touch upon, but it's very important. Um. Anyways. I'd like to hear your thoughts about uh, this episode. What do you guys think? I know I'm a few days behind, but let me know what you guys think. What are your theories? What do you think is going to happen? What do you think is also the going to happen with being X? Do you think he's actually setting a path for her and she has literally no choice on what that path is other than like her accepting him or not? That's the only thing that he can't control about her. Uh, excuse me, guys. Sorry about that. But he's setting this path to make to convince her. At the same time, you know, to accept God and all that stuff. So, it's interesting. It's very interesting. I really do like that, how it does that. But in the end, I feel like either she's just completely going to deny being X in general, or she's finally going to accept it. I am very curious to see what, what how that's going to end out to be. Uh, let me know your theories and your thoughts and all. what what Anything you guys want to say in the comment section, just let me know. Anyways, I guess I'll end the video with that. If you guys like my reaction, please leave a like. Also, subscribe. Check them out on the channel in the description box below. Also, follow me on social media to keep you guys up there in case anything happens. And I shall see you guys um, <laughs> later this week with the following episode. Bye, guys.